lock here and I'm back again with exercise 10.3 menstruation uh, class 10. Now here you have the first question. An iron pillar consists of a cylindrical portion of 2.8 meter height and 20 centimeter in diameter and a cone of 42 height surmounting it. Find the weight of the pillar if 1 centimeter cube of iron weighs 7.5 grams. So this is the given question. So first let's write down the data as they have given. You have an iron pillar. So this iron pillar, this, imagine this as an iron, iron pillar guys. Okay. So this is an iron pillar. So let's, you have an iron pillar. Now this iron pillar consists of a cylindrical portion. So this iron pillar consists of a cylindrical portion. So just um, take this shape off. So if you observe here, you will get a cylinder one. So this iron pillar consists of a cylindrical portion with height. So height of this cylinder will be so the height of this cylinder will be 2.8 meters. Okay, 2.8 meters and 20 centimeters in diameter. So the so the diameter of the given cylinder is 20 centimeters. So let's write down like the diameter equals to what? This will be the diameter, right? So diameter over here with the diameter equals to 20, 20, 20 centimeters. Done? And what next? Um, and a cone of 42 centimeters height surmounting it. So here on this given cylinder, you have a cone which is surmounting on the cylinder. Okay. So a cone is surmounting on the cylinder with height of 42 centimeters again. So the height of the cone is 42 centimeters. 42 centimeters. Now the question is find the weight of the pillar if 1 centimeter cube of iron weighs 7.5 grams. So the question is they have given what if 1 centimeter cube of iron weighs 7.5 grams then what is the weight of the pillar. So to find the weight of the pillar first we must find the um, centimeter cube of this given pillar means volume of the pillar. Okay. So firstly, let's find the volume of the pillar. So solution. So to find the volume, volume of volume of the pillar. So by finding this, we will get a certain value. So that value into 7.5 grams gives the final answer to this given question. Now here to, to find the volume of the pillar, we must find firstly, we must add like volume of cylinder plus volume of cone. Okay. So to find volume of pillar, we must find like what? Volume of volume of cylinder plus volume of cone done so now here first let's find the volume of cylinder okay so to find the volume of cylinder let me um, let me find it the formula for volume of cylinder what Volume of cylinder formula what? Pi r square h. Right? Is this the one where the volume of cylinder equals to pi r square h? Where pi value as 22 by 7 are ah, radius value. I got, I have diameter value but I don't know the radius value. So to find the radius, we can select with diameter firstly. Let's use diameter to find radius. Where diameter equals to 20 centimeters. Right? So to find the radius, we can select where radius, where radius equals to, where radius is denoted by the symbol R, right? So the letter small r. So radius equals to D by 2. D mean diameter. 
so diameter by 2 diameter over here is 20 right so 20 by 2 so 20 by 2 where 2 times 1 uh, 2 ones 2 and 2 tens 20 therefore I can say that where R equals to 10 centimeters then we got what where radius equals 10 centimeters so let me write it like okay. we got radius value and a height where edge of uh, edge height of cylinder is 2.8 meters but here you the 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 value is in meters right so here i can say like here where height height equals to 2.8 meters so the value is in meters but here diameter is in centimeters radius is in, is in centimeter but i need to find i need to change this value into centimeters so to convert meters into centimeters as we know here where 1 meter equals to 100 centimeters right where 1 meter equals to what 100 centimeters by using this so 2.8 into 100 okay let me write down here let me uh, convert over here where 2.8 into 100 so by multiplying this where 2.8 into 100 gives 280 right so 280 this becomes centimeters okay therefore 2.8 meters uh, converts into 280 centimeters by multiplying into 100 so this becomes a 280 centimeters done clear good now here height equals 280 centimeters so i got all the values now it's time to substitute in its place so here to substitute this first you have 2 pi r square right not 2 pi r square pi r square h okay volume okay we are talking about volume so curved surface area of cylinder is 2 pi r square uh, 2 pi r h so here volume of cylinder is pi r square h so pi value let me write down like 22 by 7 into where r r means radius right so radius is 10 centimeters as we got over here so 10 into 10 to 22 by 7 into 10 into 10 into where it's height of the height of the cylinder is 280 right so let me write down, so let me write down like 280. Now, just try to cancel over here. Uh, we get like 7 times 1, 7, 7, 7, 4 is 28, right? So 7, 4 is 28. Here, here I have 280, so 4 is 0 over here. That's So 7 into 40 is 280, okay? Now, here just multiply like 22 into, 22 into 40 into 10 into 10. Now here, just multiply 22 into 4 guys. 22 into 4 gives what? 88. Right? So, here, 8, 8, 88. And so, I have 0. Let me add, add 0. So, 880 into 10, uh, 8,800. So, 8,800 into 10. And we, can, we should add zeros over here. Now, this becomes what? 88,000. So, let me write like 88,000 centimeter cube. Okay, we are coming to volumes where we get like 88,000 centimeter cube. Now here, I got what volume of cylinder where we have volume. Volume of cylinder equals to 88,000 centimeter cube. Right, centimeter cube. Now here, now it's time to find the volume of a cone. Okay, so to find the volume of cone, let me again take like volume of cone. Right. So the formula will be one by three pi r square h. We have dealt with this uh, formula in previous examples in exercise ten point two. Right. So now here, coming back to this exercise, you have volume of cone. Volume of cone equals to 1 by 3 pi r square h. Done. Now, R, uh, I know I got uh, 1 by 3 where 1 by 3 is 1 by 3 pi value 22 by 7 into R where R means radius, right? So here, where the base of the base of the cone and the base of the cone here, 
the radius will be 10 for each where here the base of the cone is similar where cone base and cylinder base are connected to each other so I can say like the base of the cone and the base of the cylinder will be equal so here I can take like where radius of cone will be 10 centimeters done so R radius radius equals to denoted by r right so let me write down like r where r equals to 10 centimeters now h where height value is 42 centimeters over there right where cone height is 42 centimeters so let me write down like h means height equals to 42 centimeters Clear? Now just substitute this formulas in the given uh, one. So substitute this values in the given formula. So if we substitute like we get is 1 by 3 firstly. Firstly 1 by 3 into pi value 22 by 7 right. So 22 by 7 into r value r means 10. So 10 into 10 r square. So 10 into 10 10 square. Now into h where h is 42, right? So let me write like 42. Okay, so 42 over here. Is it clear now? This equation. Now here you have 7. First let's look uh, look into 7 and 42. Uh, 7 times 6, 42, right? 7, 6, 42. So 7, 1, 7, 7, 6, 42. 7, 6, 42. Now here you have 3. So 3 times 2 again 6. So here we get like 3 2's. 3 2's 6 right. So uh, let it be. Now here 22. We have 22 into 10 into 10 into. Okay. So just keep this 10, uh, 10 into 10 aside. Okay. Now here 22 into 2. 22 into 2 gives 44. So 44 into 10 into 10. So 10 into 10. This is what? 4, 4, double, 0. 4,400 centimeter cube again. So this is what? 4,400 centimeter cube. Therefore I can say that by volume of cone equals to 4,400 centimeter cube. So I got the volume of cylinder where volume of cylinder equals to 88,000 centimeter cube and volume of cone equals to 4,400 centimeter cube. Now here I got the volume of cylinder and volume of cone. Now it's time to add. So just uh, add this both volumes and then the result will be the uh, volume of the total pillar. So to find now find the volume of pillar. So to find the volume of filler, let me add like volume of cylinder is what? Um, 88, right? So 88,000 and plus 4,400. So this gives what is? Well, 0, 0, 4, 8 plus 4, 2, 1. Okay, this gives 1, 9. So this gives what? Um... 92,400 centimeter cube. So I got what where the total, the volume of pillar. Let me write down like therefore the volume of pillar is 92,400. So the volume of pillar is 92,400 centimeter cube. Right? Now the question is what? If 1 centimeter cube of iron weighs 7.5 grams, then find the total weight of the pillar. So to find the total weight of the pillar, now first you have, now just, it's nothing but to multiply 9 to 4, where 9 to 4 double 0. So 92,400 into 7.5 grams. So just multiply with this where firstly 924 into 7.5 924 into 7.5 this use what is 